Hey guys, in today's video, I'm going to show you how to install Google Drive on your Mac. So let's get started. First of all, on Google, just open up Google Chrome or even Safari and go ahead and type in Google Drive. From here, what I usually say is don't click on the first thing that you guys get on because it's going to be an advertisement. Go always to the second one. But in this case, it's the same thing. So we're just going to click up here just into Google Drive. This is the main page from Google Drive. You don't want to access your Google Drive right now to download the software. So what we have to do is just scroll all the way down, all the way down, and we're gonna see this exactly. Downloads and Drive for Mac. That's what we want, Drive for Mac or PC. So let's just click right there, and then it's gonna bring us to this page. So what we have to do is just scroll down just a little bit, and we're gonna see these two options. We have Drive for Desktop, and backup in sync. Most of you want this, which is for individuals, backup in sync. Now that's different than drive for desktop. This works a little bit different and doesn't work with all Macs right now. So if you have an M1, it's not gonna work. So I wouldn't even look into this, but basically this part is all about keeping everything online, which you don't really have to have to download this thing or do anything like that. If you wanna keep everything online, you guys can just not install even what I'm gonna show you right now on your Mac. You can just go into your Google Drive right here and just drag and drop anything and upload files onto your Google Drive, which I already have a video about that and that's the way I like to do things. But if you do this first option, which is backup in sync, you're gonna have things online and on your Mac. So they're accessible both on your Mac and online. Anyways, let's get started. We're gonna click on download, which is down here below. We're gonna see this message. We're gonna agree and download. And then we should see something popping up on the left-hand side of our screen, which is the download. On the bottom left-hand side, we're gonna see this, install backup. And we can go right into our downloads and see this. However, let's just click right there. It's opening. So right now we should see this on our screen, opening. Again, this just went into the your downloads folder, so you guys can open it from there as well. And here we go. So we have this right here. And what we have to do, like any other app out there, is just drag this onto here, which is our applications folder. Then we should see that message. There we go. So that has been installed and we are all set. So right now what we have to do is just run that. So at this point we can go right into Finder or we can actually even click right here on applications, double click on it to go right into it. So my backup in sync, I can see that it's on the top right hand corner. Obviously it depends what apps you guys have, but anyways, I'm just gonna double click on it to open it up. Now you might see this message. Let me just close the applications folder for now because we don't need that anymore. And see this message right here, back on the sync, an app downloaded, blah, 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 blah. If you're having any problems opening it up, I'll show you a quick way in just a second. So I'm just gonna click on open. And at this point, I actually don't want Google Drive to have access to my desktop folder. That's not what I want to back up but you guys can always allow it or not allow. It's really up to you. So I'm gonna put not allowed for now. Now here, backup in sync from Google would like to access your documents folder. That's actually what I do want to actually back up on my Google Drive and not stuff on my desktop. So I'm gonna click on okay. Now Google Drive would like to access my photos. Well, in my case, I don't want it. I already have actually backup to that. So I don't really have to do this. So I'm gonna put don't allow. Also gonna ask me about my downloads folder. Don't want that. So you really get to pick and choose what will be uploaded onto your Google Drive. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on get started and let's sign in to your Google account, which is something that's pretty odd that you have to do again, but that's okay. Let's just sign in. Once you guys have signed in, you should see this message. Choose a folder from your computer to continuously back up to Google Drive. So we're just gonna go in and got it. So this is the most important part about this because you want to have everything you guys need to be backed up. So in this case for me, it's just my documents and I don't want my pictures. I don't want my photos library to be there. I can choose folder, I can change. I have all those options right here as well as photos and videos. For me, photos and videos, I'm just gonna go into high quality, free and limited. Um, from a message that I got from Google from before, it's no longer gonna be free unlimited. So that will change later on, I'm guessing, but it's no longer unlimited. I think they give you like 15 gigs and then you have to pay. But anyways, what I'm gonna keep it on is high quality exactly for that reason. And from down here, I don't want this as well. 
So this is perfect for me. I'm just gonna go into next. And from here, just click on got it. And here at this point, I do have a lot of information already on my Google Drive. So that's why it's asking me if I want to sync all that information into just this one folder on my Mac where I can access it. Obviously, I can access all this information just using my web browser. I don't need a physical copy on my Mac and I don't want that. So in my case, I'm not gonna hit start right now. I just wanted to show you that this is the normal way of doing it. You would go start, yes, the file location you would look at, it's gonna be called Google Drive. You're gonna see it on your Mac. But in my particular case, I do not want that. So I'm not gonna sync my drive to this computer. So I'm gonna go ahead and start. And there we go. Right now, we should be seeing this message. And we do have to allow. So just click on OK. And up here on the top right hand side, we should see this. So right now it's backing up that documents folder that I wanted to back up from my Mac. And that's all I wanted to back up. I do not want that specific folder from Google Drive to be on my Mac with all the other information that I have online already. So that's why I didn't install that myself. However, you guys could have done that too and you would have seen this as well. Now before I end this video, just wanna make sure if you guys are having any problems, always go into your system preferences. So down here I have my system preferences. You guys can go into your spotlight search and just look for system preferences or go right into there. And then from here, you're gonna look for security. So right here I have security and privacy. And under general, so that's my first tab up here, I should see all this stuff. So just make sure to take out this lock. So I'm gonna click on it. I'm gonna unlock this. And then from here, you're gonna see this. See this? Just choose the second option. Don't just allow apps downloaded from the App Store, but choose the second one. Apps and identify developers. And maybe, just maybe, for some of you, you may see a message down here below where you guys can click OK or Allow. And there you go, problem solved. You guys should be able to install Google Drive just fine. Anyways, that's how you guys can install right now. Again, if I click on the top right hand side of my screen, I should see this icon. So what I'm going to do, if I just scroll over it, I'm going to see the message backing up to Google. So let me just click on it so you guys can see what this is about. So if I click there, I'm gonna see this message right here. I'm gonna see what it's uploading right now to my Google Drive, which is perfect. At this point, what I suggest not doing is closing your Mac. Just let it run, just let it be until everything's synced, and then finally shut it down. But for now, just let it be, and let it sync everything from your Mac, or everything that you have chosen from your Mac, I should say. Anyways, that would be it for this video. Congrats guys, now you can use Google Drive right here on your Mac. Remember that Google Drive is part of a whole thing with Google One, so it's all together. And I do have separate videos showing you guys how to change plans or upgrade plans or download plans or even sign up for plans for your Google One, which is the same thing as Google Drive. That would be it for this video. If you have any questions, comments, you guys can write down here in the comments area. Don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.